So vitally important that students use the resources that are available to them in the past paper space on the public facing website. Uh, using those EAMGs, really uh, interrogating those and completing the practice questions within the exam conditions that they're expected to face during their uh, external assessment. Okay, so another tip for students is that they are well across what's required for each of the cognitions within our syllabus. We can use the glossary of cognitive verbs to find the definitions for each of those. And in addition to that, we need to make sure there is opportunity for students to practice uh, analysing, dissecting, and then using stimulus within their responses engage with the subject report. Uh, within that subject report there's examples of student responses from last year's EA and it really shows them the characteristics of a good response uh, and they can frame their responses and understanding towards this year's exam based upon those. To make sure that students are across the procedural processes uh, linked to the Unit 4 Health Inquiry Model. That will allow students to show their understanding of the approaches, frameworks and resources which they can analyse and interpret information from in synthesising their action strategy. So a great tip for physical education students too is to make sure that not only engaging with the physical activity context uh, they use in IA3, but to also get a deep understanding of the subject matter across a variety of contexts so that they have uh, examples that they can draw upon within an extended response. It's essential that students understand the subject matter of the units that they are studying. They need to know the accessible elements uh, that are within those units and what they need to include within their responses, particularly when it comes to the short uh, response and the extended response questions. One of the really important things students can do in preparing for this year's exam is go to the MyQCE website and navigate their way to external assessment, a guide for year 12 students, and make sure that they're well across all the requirements for each of their subject areas. Make sure they engage with those resources online where they can practice uh, sample responses and proven EAMGs that have already existed and ensuring that they really do those within the conditions of the external assessment. And the final thing we need to do is make sure we're really engaging with the subject matter in the syllabus, ensuring we're across all of the prescribed elements and examples within it so that there's no surprises when we sit down to answer our questions. Thank you.